I'm Sue Page. I'm going to elaborate today a little bit on what I covered in my first video. I talked about the three themes, and one of the themes that I'm going to cover through the series of video blogs is working through your grief and not going around it. So I talked about how important it is to find a time of day where you could sit down and reflect about the life you had with your spouse. And for me, I shared that mornings worked well for me with my cup of coffee. For you, it may be a different time of day. But as you set aside that time and you do the grief work, and hopefully it's the same time every day for an hour, I talked about journaling last, last time. But what else do I do during my hour? So I, I started with uh, reading a daily devotional. Personally, I like Jesus Calling because it always set me on the right path. It would tell me things like, don't worry about tomorrow, worry about today, or stay strong. And some days the messages just really hit perfectly for the, wherever I was at that point in time. Then I would journal and I would write about what I did yesterday or how I'm feeling or what I'm going to do today. And the third thing I did was I would... Um, write in a memory book that my funeral home gave me. Um, and it was a book that asked me different things like, on a rainy day, Greg liked to blah, blah, blah. Or few people knew this about Greg. And I couldn't complete all of the questions like all at once, or even, I couldn't even do one a day because it was really um, difficult to write down the way I felt about all these different things. But it was a great, vehicle to add to your grief work. And if you didn't get a book like that when your spouse died, you can order one online through keepsakes.mem.com. So it's K-E-E-P-S-A-K-E-S, -E -E keepsakes.mem.com. Try doing that. Or if you attended the worldwide program called Grief Share, they had exercises in the back of their book. I have them in my book as well. So try to do one exercise a day. Again, it's a catalyst to get you reminiscing and thinking about your spouse. And then you can also listen to podcasts or read a grief book, a chapter of a book that you might have. And I know that as you do all these things, you're going to cry. That's a natural um, outcome. And that's part of doing the grief work, crying. And crying and tears are really good for you. Tears heal your, heal your heart and soothe your soul. I read an article online about tears, uh, emotional tears. So that's what you're crying as you reminiscing about your spouse. Favorably alter our physical chemistry, but repressing these tears can lead to physical illness. They have a different uh, chemical composition from other types of tears. And emotional tears can actually remove stress-induced toxic chemicals from your body. So I say tears are a gift from heaven. Let them flow. Until next time, bye.